Within the last uh, hour or so, a, a large American military lorry has uh, arrived from um, RAF Lake and Heath and gone through this cordon down towards uh, the crash scene. On the back of that is, a, is a, um, an excavator and uh, what I believe is a, a battery unit, a power unit, potentially, I imagine, for that other helicopter that is behind me. If I just step out of the way, you can, we can zoom in, hopefully, and see what's happening uh, around that helicopter at the moment. That, we should make it clear, is the the second Payfork helicopter that was flying last night, the one that landed uh, intact close to the crash scene. Now, we've seen now some aerial shots um, taken by the, the BBC helicopter from above here, looking, at, uh, looking down on the crash scene, and you can see the extent uh, of the debris. It does uh, spread for, uh, the, the, it was described earlier as being the size of a football pitch, in terms of length and that gives you an idea of the scale of the operation the recovery operation and the investigation that has to now take place we know there are u.s air force and uh, raf personnel out there in the marshes uh, looking for debris and beginning this investigative process the problem they're facing or have been facing is the fact that there are munitions on board this aircraft we understand they are low caliber small caliber bullets rather than anything more uh, more sizable they are from a machine gun that was on board that pay fork helicopter they have to recover that and make that area safe before uh, the area can then uh, effectively be handed over to the americans who will remove the bodies of these uh, four airmen who we believe are still inside that wreckage it's obviously clearly unrecognizable as a helicopter um, such was the impact into the ground. The area really does uh, still remain cordoned off. These investigations are now underway, uh, but it will be, we understand, handed over to the Americans at some point uh, for, this, uh, for this recovery process to actually happen.